This is Adi Sharma solution class 12th chapter 7 a joint and inverse of a matrix we are taking mcqs multiple choice questions if a is an invertible matrix then which of the following is not true not true okay a inverse what is the formula a joint a divided by the determinant of a determinant of a cannot be equal to 0 so that that is true if you take the transpose and then you take the inverse it is equivalent to taking the inverse and taking then taking the transpose second is also true now take the determinant take the inverse or take the inverse and take the determinant they both are same we already seen in the properties but we have never seen or we can never vouch for a square inverse is equal to a inverse Square. It may be true, it may not be. So this is not the property. Other, all three are actual properties which we have already discussed. So the answer here is first. Now here also we have to find out which is not true. If A is an invertible matrix of order 3. Now let me tell you that which, which, which all are true. A inverse of inverse is what? Let's say if 2 inverse is there and you take the inverse of 2 inverse, you get what? You get 2 again back, right? And there are others also which, uh, which are true, but the answer is third. And I'll give you the reason why it is not true. If BA is equal to CA and B is not equal to C, where B and C are square matrices of order 3. So it order doesn't matter actually, let me tell you. So now both sides, let us take, because A is invertible, it is already given in the question. So we can multiply both sides by A inverse. So A into A inverse or A inverse into A is the identity matrix. So B into I is equal to A uh, C, C into I. So whenever we multiply anything by identity element, uh, identity matrix, that will come. B equals C. So B is equal to C, it is coming. If A is invertible, B is equal to C. But they, the question is saying, the third part is saying, B is not equal to C. If A is this, B is this, A plus B inverse is. Now I would like uh, to take uh, your help because A inverse plus B inverse, you have to find out. And then add and then see what happens. One by one I'll tell you the others. The answer is none of these. So this Q symmetric, let us see this one. If A plus B is there and you take the transpose of it. Okay. So A plus B, let us take A plus B. 3 plus minus 2 is 1. I'm taking A plus B. It's 1 here. Then 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3. Now take the transpose, what do you get? Rows to column. So 1, 2 we are making as a column, 2, 3 we are making as a column. Now we get the original matrix. So when we take the transpose of A plus B, we get A plus B back again. And that is the sign of the matrix or the combination being uh, symmetric matrix. Because if you take X transpose, you get X you say symmetric matrix. If you take X transpose, you get minus X, you get skew symmetric, right? So it is, this is, uh, it is not a skew symmetric. It is actually, I already showed you symmetric. And that help you are going to give me A inverse plus B inverse, you just find out. And the determinant also, also I'm taking. Uh, determinant is three minus four. So determinant of A is equal to minus one. So determinant is there. Okay, so this A plus B inverse does exist. Okay, A plus B inverse does exist. So this first and third I showed you, second I hope you'll be able to do by yourself. But the answer is fourth, which is none of these. Because all are incorrect except the fourth one, because fourth is actually saying none of these. Right? Okay. S is given as this matrix and adjoint of A is. Now the 
basic method is to find out the cofactor matrix takes the take the transpose of that co matrix uh, matrix cofactor matrix but i already told you there is a shortcut method how to do that see this is a b c d take the diagonal element and exchange it that is d and a you have to exchange in place of a put d in place of d place a this is the first step Second step is change the sign of other elements minus c minus b, and this is only true for two by two. Please remember. So this is second one. This is the answer. If a is a singular matrix, then adjoint of a is. Let me tell you, a is a singular matrix. That is, determinant of a is actually equal to zero. Right? Now adjoint of a. So we have a relationship. We already seen in the questions and properties in previous exercises. A into a joint A is equal to determinant of A multiplied by the identity element, identity matrix uh, per se, and that is of order n. So a joint of A will be what? Determinant of A. Let us divide both sides by A just to see what we are getting. Now determinant of A is zero. So whatever you take here, a joint of A is going to be. Zero. Now let us take the determinant here. See, right one is the null matrix, but when you take the uh, determinant, you get a value. So it will not be a matrix now; it will be zero. On the right hand side, you will get a zero here, right? So first one was the matrix, and now we have got a value. So when it when you get a determinant of some matrix as zero, it is going to be singular. That is the that is the theory. If A and B are two n by n non-singular matrices, then okay. So non-singular matrix, when we have A determinant of A, this is not equal to zero. That means it's a singular matrix. Non-singular that means it is not going to be equal to zero. Similarly, the determinant of B is also not equal to zero. Now, now the expression which I am going to Tell you this is this is also what we have seen in our discussion. Determinant of a into b is simply determinant of a multiplied by determinant of b. So a b determinant is nothing but determinant of a into determinant of b. Okay. Now, since a is not, determinant of a is not equal to zero, and this is similar for determinant of b not equal to zero. So what do you get? Determinant of a b will not be zero. This both the parties A and B they both don't give you determinant as zero, so determinant of A B will not be equal to zero. So it will be non-singular. A into B is non-singular. If A is this, then the value of adjoint of A, determinant of adjoint of A. So what is the way? Uh, so you need to uh, you know remember what we have already discussed. First thing is. You do proper adjoint. You do, and then take the determinant. This is up to you. But I'll give you because this is an MCQ, you know, questionnaires we are doing. So there has to be some trick which we need to be applied. So if you, if I take a from out from this uh, matrix, you get a in, inside what? That that is the identity matrix. Basically, it's a k. K means constant. So this is a scalar matrix. We have taken. A that is a constant outside, right? So when you take this out, the determinant of A for a scalar matrix, any scalar matrix, is simply multiplication of the diagonal elements A into A into A. So that is that is going to be A cube. Now, the order, what is the order? This is a three by three matrix. So order is three. I told you already that adjoint A the the determinant of the no, adjoint a we have already seen in the very short uh, small uh, as the questions and in our discussions earlier determinant of uh, adjoint of a is determinant of a raised to the power n minus 1 determinant of a is already a with us a cube n is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so a cube to the power 2 multiply 3 and 2 a to the power 6 this is the answer If A is this uh, three by three matrix, then determinant of a joint of a joint of A. So we have to find out the determinant. So 
this also uh, the expression of finding the determinant of adjoint of adjoint of a we already seen determinant of adjoint of adjoint of a is simply the determinant of a raised to the power n minus 1 whole square and what is uh, n here n is the order of the matrix here it is 3 by 3 right so this type of questions are asked generally in mcqs in various uh, competitive exams so rather than doing everything use this trick use this expression so let us find out the determinant i'm opening using the first row 1 2 negative 1 so 1 it's 1 2 negative 1 1 2 you get negative 1 2 2 1 and minus 1 here you get one, minus 1 2 to 1 minus 1 okay so this is 1 minus minus become plus 2 so 1 into 3 so it will be 3 here then we have uh, the second part or second element 1 into minus 1 is negative 1 minus 2 to the 4 so it is negative 5 negative 5 into negative 2 is plus is plus 10 so just write it here plus 10 okay now here also let us see minus 1 minus minus is plus minus 2 is negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 is plus 1 okay so you get 14 here now determinant of a we have got put 14 here what is n 3 by 3 so 3 is n so 3 minus 2 is 2 2 square is 4 so this is 4 here 14 raised to the power 4 is the answer If B is a non-singular matrix and A is a square matrix, then determinant of B inverse A into B. So there are three matrix here, B inverse AB. So the answer is third one here. And what are the steps you are going to employ that I'm going to tell you just now. But first thing first is in the question it is already given, B is a non-singular matrix. What does it mean? B is non-singular, that means the determinant of B is not equal to 0. That is, B is invertible and B inverse exists. Remember, it is not equal to 0, B inverse exists because B is actually invertible. Because determinant of B is not equal to 0. Now, B, if you take the inverse, if you take the determinant of B inverse, what do you get? B inverse. This, we, this is a property. We can take the determinant and then take the inverse. Two inverse of Two inverses, one by two, you can write one by a determinant of B. You can always write that. Now coming to this one. So determinant of B inverse A into B. So I told you determinant of A into B is determinant of A into determinant of B. That property we already know. So either you take three of them, separate them one by one, or you can take, let us separate first B inverse and AB. So determinant of B inverse into B, the determinant of AB. Then B inverse, then take this A, B as A and B separately. Okay. Now what is B inverse? We have already seen this. This is 1 by B a determinant. A and B. So we can cancel this uh, determinant of B and determinant of B because determinant is a value. So we can cancel it out. We cannot cancel the matrix, but we can cancel the determinant value. So determinant A will come. For any 2 by 2 matrix, if A into a joint A is this, this is a scalar matrix, scalar, the value scalar is 10, then determinant of A is equal to. So I just told you, and we have already seen A into a joint A is determinant of A multiplied by I n. n is a subscript and n refers to the order of the matrix. Okay, so what do we have? A into a joint A we already have. This is already given in the question. So let us equate this determinant of A into I with the matrix which is already given A into a joint A. Okay. A into a joint A is, I am just replacing this A into a joint A with a 10, 0, 0, 10. And now we know this is a scalar matrix. So we can take 10 common because this, this is already given in the question. Okay. So if you multiply i, you won't get the answer property. So I'm just saying that keep that i, i, and then you see what we are going to do on the right hand side. Determinant of a into i is equal to, now take this 10 outside, what do you get? 1, 0, 0, 1. So
So 10 into i it is. So when you equate determinant of a into i equals 10 into i, that is determinant of a is equal to 10, that is going to be your answer. This question will take in the next discussion. Till then, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.